right, ladies and gents. Uh, don't do this very often, but I have a mature bull that is very far away from a corral, and he has foot rot. So, one possible solution is to uh, round up the whole ranch and all the employees and having to get him in. Or we could do a short-term fix. It usually actually is a long-term fix, just quick deal. I've put a couple of harpoons of using a tranquilizer gun, but a dart full of antibiotics. All right, proper dart preparation. This is a 15cc, the largest dart we have. A uh, charge, a tail, a needle, and a plunger. They assemble something like this. Opening on the uh, charge goes outward. Goes in there. It's already been lubed. And then what you do, let's see, it's going to be hard to show. Anyway, put the plunger in just far enough that the tail will go on. I leave the opening pretty much the entire dart for antibiotics. Alright. So put a tail on here. Then what you do is take the gun, put your dart in, that's how much is sticking out of the barrel, so kind of like a harpoon, anyway. That's how it works. Let's see if we can get one darted. I've already got one dart in him. Now I gotta get number two. Hi, right, buddy. I oh, know that hurts. Almost bad as your foot, huh? Got him a second one. All right. Now I gotta get the darts back. Signing out. This is our uh, trough and solar setup. Got a little moss in it. But uh, pumps when the level's down. Float pops up, trips the circuit, and shuts off. And we've got both tanks plumbed on the ground, graded them together so that even if one of these fill pipes isn't feeding the tank, they will equalize in there how full they are. Here's a little uh, brushless controller for the submersible pump. And a wonderful solar panel. Power from the sun. Used to be power from the wind. This thing uh, still works. We can switch it back to windmill at any time. Anyway, hope all is well, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching. I'm out.